welcome to the next tutorial in electrical machines we were discussing the problems based on alternators and in the previous tutorial we have discussed the problems based on generated emf in this tutorial we are going to discuss few problems based on voltage regulation let's see the first problem if a three phase star connected alternator is supplying a load of 10 megawatt at a power factor of 0.85 lagging at 11 kilovolt terminal voltage resistance being 0.1 ohm per phase and synchronous reactance being 0.66 ohm per phase calculate the line value of emf generated so here whatever the power is given 10 megawatt corresponding to the three phase system it is the power of three phase system and the current 11 kilovolt whatever is written even this term is not mentioned it will be the terminal voltage and which is for three phase system so it is the line voltage the resistance and the reactance always will be given per phase basis so we need to convert the three phase system to single phase system connecting it to be star connected so we need to convert the three phase to single phase and do our calculation considering that this is a sing star connected system so we need to consider the star connected system and convert three phase to single phase if it is required then we need to back transform the single phase system to three phase system using the star basically formulas that is the line voltage is equal to root three times the phase voltage and line current is equal to phase current so in this problem we need to determine the line value of the emf generated it means that we need to determine first the phase value and then we will be determining the line value from the emf generated so the solution goes like this first we need to determine the current which is the full load current we know that in ac quantity the current is nothing but the power divided by root 3 into the voltage multiplied by into the power factor since we are taking the power as three phase here so the voltage will be line voltage here and root 3 will be appearing here so the current is basically 618 ampere from the given data and then the two drops that we have one is the resistive drop another is the reactance drop we will be getting because the resistance is 0.1 ohm and reactance is 0.66 ohm that will give us the total drop in the resistance and the reactance of the alternator so this is ra and this is excess now since we need to calculate based on the phase voltage we have to convert this 11 kilovolt into the phase voltage so we will be dividing 11 kilovolt by root 3 so we will get 6350 volt now the power factor is given to be 0 0.85 so this is the power factor so i need to determine what is the phase angle between the voltage and the current which is equal to cos inverse of 0.85 31.8 degree and hence the sine phi component we can easily determine uh, from the value of phi so the phasor diagram for the system which is here in this case 0 0.85 lagging in nature so the current if we take as the reference phasor so we take the current as the reference phasor then in that case the voltage will be leading the current by an angle of phi and we need to determine the generated emf e naught the line value and the phase value so first we will determine the e naught value which is the phase value uh, in terms of this formula which is nothing but uh, the drop IA, IRA and I excess we will add up to its relative component V cos phi and V sin phi. So we can see that if V is here then the V cos phi component will be here and we have IRA. So this is in the direction of the current and in the direction of the Y axis which will be imaginary axis you will have V sin phi and you will component I excess will be adding up. So that will give you the uh, generated EMF E0. Now this generated EMF E0 is nothing but the phase value. So we need to convert that into line value. So 
the line emf is nothing but a root 3 times the phase voltage because it is a star connected system if it is a delta connected system then in that case e naught and line emf will be the same so because it is star connected system this has to be multiplied with root 3 to get the line emf next problem here we have a 50 kva star connected 440 volt 3 phase 50 hertz alternator and the resistances uh, is given 0 0.25 ohms per phase and the reactance is 3.25 ohms per phase here the synchronous reactance is given so synchronous reactance is excess and the leakage reactance is xl determine at a rated load so rated load means full load and the unity power factor condition what is the internal emf no load emf percentage regulation and the value of synchronous reactance which replace the armature reaction so when we talk about the term internal then that will include the value of xl alone and when we talk about the no load it will be computed with respect to excess so these we are going to see in this particular problem and again i would like to note you that since it is a three phase system or the alternator here the 50 kva is indicating the three phase complex power s and the voltage 440 volt is indicating the line voltage where the three phase system is star connected and all the resistance and reactance will be given per phase basis so the first few step will be the same as in the first problem we will determine what is the phase voltage by dividing with root 3 the line voltage what is the current so it is a power divided by root 3 into voltage power factor is basically 1 and the drop in the resistance and the excel value so this drop we can find out and then we can draw the phasor diagram so from the phasor diagram we see that whenever we are trying to determine the internal emf ea we are having the reactance value as xl here and since it is a unity power factor condition upf condition we need not to take the power factor into account so the internal emf is coming to be 272 volt and the line value corresponding will be root 3 times because it is a star connected system on the other hand if we need to find the no load voltage e naught here then in that case we need to take the excess value in the calculation so here we have taken xl value and here we are taking excess value and it is again the upf condition so e naught value will be coming as 342 volt and the corresponding line value we need to multiply it with root 3 times so there is a difference between the internal emf and the no load emf now the regulation uh, is the difference between the no load voltage minus the full load voltage so this is the no load voltage and this is the full load voltage which is the rated voltage no load voltage is 342 and the rated voltage is 254 and that is and reference we always take as the rated voltage so the regulation is coming to be 34.65 regulation this should be as low as possible so this is the voltage regulation of the alternator now once we know the value of excess and xl we can determine what is xa due to the armature reaction so due to the armature reaction the xa value is 2.7 ohm which is resulting in the emf next problem where we have a 1000 kva 330 3300 volt three phase star connected alternator it is delivering a full load current at a rated voltage of 0 0.80 power factor lagging the resistance and synchronous reactance of the machine per phase are given to us estimated the generated voltage so this is again the three phase complex power this is the line voltage given to us which is available at the terminal and this is the power factor let us see how to calculate this so the first two steps remain the same where oh, the line voltage has to be converted to phase voltage by dividing with root 3 and current we will be getting from the equation of the power divided by root 3 times the voltage power factor again it is in unity power factor condition now note here that the phasor diagram will have to be resolved into few uh, geometrical interpretations where we have the oa which is nothing but the value of the phase voltage and the AB is nothing but the drop due to the resistance because here you have the current and the BC value is nothing but the drop due to the reactance. 
So we will resolve the quantities in such a way that we can determine the generated EMF. So the generated EMF E will be resolved along the x-axis which is O to D and along the y-axis which is C to D. So what is OD? OD is nothing but OA plus AB cos phi plus BC sin phi. So we can resolve the AB along x-axis and we can resolve the BC along x-axis to determine the uh, reference direction what is the EMF that will give you 2500 volt. When we go on the y-axis direction or the perpendicular direction, we can resolve these quantities AB and BC around the y-axis component. So here we are incorporating a negative sign so that we take into account the phasor diagram properly and we are having minus AB sin phi plus BC cos phi which is given to be 647.5. Note here minus indicate only the magnitude. So the total EMF E which is to be determined is nothing but the square root of OD square plus DC square which is giving me 2582.5 volt. Now here the power angle delta this is known as the power angle. So the power angle delta or the torque angle is the angle between the generated EMF E and the terminal voltage V. So delta we can determine from the triangle law and here we have sine inverse of CD by OC which is equal to 14.52 degrees. So we have determined the torque angle or the power angle. Next problem, here we have a 100 kV 3000 volt 50 hertz 3 phase torque connected alternator. The effective armature resistance is given. The field current is 40 ampere produces short circuit current of 200 ampere. So if we can draw the observation table between the field current and the armature current, we note that the 40 ampere when you have the field current, then the armature current is being, short circuit current is given to be 200 ampere at an open circuit EMF. So here you have the no load EMF, open circuit EMF, which is equal to 1040. And this is the line value. Calculate the full load voltage regulation at 0 0.8 power factor lagging condition and 0 0.8 power factor leading condition. So both for the lagging condition and the leading condition, you need to determine the voltage regulation for this system. So the solution will first determine the ZS value, that is the synchronous reactance, which is nothing but open circuit voltage by short circuit current and this will be per phase system. So we will be dividing the voltage by root 3 because it is a star connected system and the current will remain as usual and it is giving to me 3 ohms. The synchronous reactance excess is under root of ZS square minus RA square which is 2.299 ohm. The full load current is determined from the concept of power divided by root 3 into the voltage power factor being unity it will give me 19.2 ampere. The two drops due to the resistance and the reactance we need to compute knowing the value of the current as 19.2 amps. So the voltage per phase we are going to compute because we need to compute from the phase end and then the power factor cos phi and the sin phi component. So the power factor when it is 0 0.8 lagging the equation of the generated EMF will have a positive sign in the reactance and the equation we have seen in the previous problems also will get the induced EMF under the no load condition which is 1768 and percentage regulation is nothing but the no load voltage minus the rated voltage by rated voltage into 100 which is 2.22 percent. On the other hand if you have a 0 0.8 power factor leading condition so if it is a leading condition there will be a negative sign there will be a negative sign appearing in the equation of the induced EMF E0 and it will give you 1699 volt. So the regulation is coming from E0 minus B by B into 100 which is equal to minus 1.8 percent. So note here the regulation is going to be negative under the condition of leading condition and for the lagging condition the voltage regulation will be positive. So voltage regulation will be positive for lagging condition and negative for the leading condition. We can draw the phasor diagram. This is for lagging condition 
and this is for leading condition where we can have this one as voltage and this is current and this angle is phi and this is delta which is the power angle so whenever we are computing the generated emf e naught with respect to the uh, with respect to the voltage v then that is giving me the power angle delta and depending upon whether it is lagging or leading that will be decided whether current is lagging the voltage or current is leading the voltage similarly in case of the leading power factor we are taken current as the reference and then the voltage phi this angle will be phi and the angle between e naught and v will be delta next problem a given 3 mva 50 hertz 11 kilovolt three phase star connected alternator when supplying 100 ampere at a zero power factor leading condition has a line to line voltage of 12370 so this voltage 12370 is basically the voltage under the zero power factor leading condition and when the load is removed load removed means no load condition so this is the voltage under the no load condition so it will be equal to e naught this value will be equal to e naught regulation we have to determine when supplying full load at 0.8 power factor lagging assuming that resistance is 0.4 ohms per phase so we have not been given the value of excess what is excess is not given so this is the voltage under the leading condition of line and this is the voltage under the no load condition so this is the equation of the induced emf considering the leading power factor so this is considering the leading power factor now here we have taken the square so that we remove the square root from the equation and then we can substitute the value of e naught and v and the power factor so we have to divide with root 3 to convert that in phase voltage whether it is a generated emf or whether it is a terminal voltage and the power factors are given if we substitute this all data here in this equation only unknown that we will have is the reactance excess because ra is already given to us so we can find what is the reactance excess and then we can substitute in the leading condition lagging condition so first we'll determine the current under the full load condition and then the drop so these are these steps are same for all the problems and then we can <coughs> put it in the equation of e naught where we have taken this one as positive uh, taking as the lagging condition we are getting 7 to 1 0 volt per phase as the no load emf so percentage regulation is nothing but percentage regulation is nothing but the value of e naught minus the value of voltage v divided by the voltage v into 100 which is giving me 13.5 percent so uh, these few problems are based on the voltage regulation concept of alternator in the next tutorial we will see how to take into account the salient pole synchronous machine to find its effective parameters thank you for now see you in the next lecture